Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the issue of your personal macro workbook. The issue here is that I have a workbook that I'm working on right now. It's not even saved, but it's called Book One. Now, any macro that I create, for example, using the Developer tab and going in and create a macro in the Visual Basic for Applications area, is that it's going into Book One. So it's going into the current workbook. If I don't save the workbook, well, I'm going to lose my macro. The other problem is going to be that this macro is only going to be available from inside this workbook. So I'm going to have to have this workbook open to be able to use the macro. And that's not feasible. It's not smart. And it's not what I want to do. So what I want to do is to make sure that the macros that I'm creating that are usable across all sorts of worksheets are actually going to be accessible to them. And the issue with this is that you need a file called Personal Macro Workbook. And if you don't have it, then you can't store your macros in it. So we're going to have a look at how you can get one. So I've got the Developer tab visible here very quickly. If you don't have it visible, go to File and then Options and go to Customize Ribbon. Over here on the right-hand dialog, make sure that the Developer checkbox is checked because that gives you access to the Developer tab. From here, what you need to do is go to Record Macro. And I'm just going to call this junk because I'm going to get rid of it eventually. But I need a macro to force create the personal macro workbook. And down here, store macro in, well, personal macro workbook. I don't have one, but I want to store it in it. I'm just going to click OK. And I'm just going to type something that's being recorded into the macro, press Enter and stop recording. So now I've created my personal macro workbook. Let's go to Visual Basic and you can see here that we actually have a personal macro workbook with a module and inside that module is going to be my rather stupid macro. So now I can click Save to save personal XLSB. That's my personal macro workbook. So once that's saved, then it's going to be accessible and the macros in it are going to be accessible to any future workbook. So I'm going to close Excel and reopen it. I'm just going to save this file because I do need it for something else in a minute. Okay, let's close down Excel. Let's reopen it. Okay, so now let's go and run that macro. We've got a macro that we can run. I'm going to View. I'm going to Macros. And here is my personal XLSB junk macro. Just going to run it. Of course, it puts garbage into the cell because that was what it was supposed to do. But notice that... I didn't need to have any particular workbook open to do it. I just need to open Excel. Excel will open the personal macro workbook if it exists, and it does because I just created it. And then any macro in future which is created inside personal XLSB is going to be accessible to any file. All you have to do is be careful when you actually create macro. So for example, let's just open the Visual Basic Editor. So in book one, I'm only ever going to create a macro that only relates to book one. I might have a special macro that I only want to function on that particular workbook because it only relates to that workbook. Well, then that's the good place to put that macro. You don't want to have it accessible to just any workbook, particularly if it had a delete function in it or something. Might make sense in book one. Certainly doesn't make sense to be running it on just any workbook in future or leaving it as a possibility to do by accident. But into my personal macro workbook, I am going to create and save all those macros that I want to have accessible to any workbook in future, the ones that have a more general approach to them. Now, before I go, I'm just going to get rid of this. We only used it to prove the fact that this was working. I'll just resave my personal macro workbook. And now we have a personal macro workbook that we can use in future. You only have to create it once, only create it once. That's all you needed. You just need to create it and then you have it accessible and ready to use for macros in future. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.